From around the globe, it's theCUBE, covering Data Citizens 21. Brought to you by Calibra. Everybody, John Wall is here on theCUBE, continuing our coverage of Data Citizens 21 with Michael Kuzma, who's a senior data engineer at Lockheed Martin, but he is just not any senior data engineer. He is the Calibra Ranger of the Year, an outstanding award uh, that certainly honors Michael's dedication to training and evaluation and development. He is the top dog. Uh, and so uh, it is a real pleasure to welcome Michael in this morning. Michael, first off, congratulations on the recognition. I know it is well-deserved, but uh, I'm certainly, it's been a long time in the making for you. So congratulations on that. Thanks, John. Thank you so much. Yeah, let's let's talk about the award a little bit here um, because you, you are the top Calibra Ranger. Uh, um, the fact that you've undergone this intensive training and evaluation process, um, what, what has that, or what is that doing for you in terms of your professional development and what you're able to provide Lockheed Martin? Well, I, I think the Ranger program definitely has helped with my understanding of the tool. Uh, first of all, we're, we're standing up Calibra as sort of a key pillar of data governance within Lockheed Martin. So it's important to have people who are subject matter experts on the tool uh, that can help the different business areas to be able to stand up and just extract as much value as they can from it. Yeah, why did this matter to you? Um, I, I mean, uh, a lot of work, uh, I mean, a lot of work that went into this uh, and to reach the pinnacle uh, required, I know, sacrifice and commitment on your part and on your team's part for that matter. But why why was this a, a, a paramount importance to you? Well, I, I think it was partially because I was early on in my Calibra journey when I took the Ranger certification and went through it. So it, it definitely helped to solidify my understanding of the tool and, and get more into it. That way I could just provide that value to the customers. Um, we also wanted to see, you know, what would it look like uh, for other people at Lockheed Martin to become Rangers and, and get proficient in the tool. So I was kind of the guinea pig for, for Lockheed and uh, we were evaluating, you know, just how it would help us with, with standing it up. Yeah, I mean, talk about the, the process, if you will, a little bit and share with us just what you went through in terms of how many hours this required, what kind of work you had to do, what kind of training and the evaluation process. So kind of take us through there from A to Z, if you will, on, on your journey. Yeah, well, um, it started off, we had to get a, a virtual environment stood up just so that we could do some of the exercises that the Ranger uh, certification requires. So that that was an intensive process of just making sure we, we had all the infrastructure in place to, to run a sandbox environment. Um, and then once we got that up, it was it was mainly doing the exercises of you're provided with the data landscape. How are you going to represent it in the tool? That way your users, both business and technical users could go in and see the data that's in there um, and be able to get value, be able to, to get insights from it. Um, and I think it was it was challenging for sure to, to just figure out what all is required for standing up the Calibra environment, because that was a piece of the Ranger, not only how to work the tool, but how to stand it up, how to administrate it in an effective way and get the meta model set up in an effective way. That way, you know, you have that, that long-term sustainability. So it was, it was good seeing all of those different pieces come together. Um, and then after you put it all together, I had the interviews with the Calibra team um, where you go over everything you did. So it definitely helps when you have to explain it to somebody they're asking questions. It sort of provides you with that that dry run for when people in your business area, and you know your company are going to be trying to use the tool, and they they might not understand about it or what value it can provide. So having that interview, almost like a dry run that you can you can then help customers when they have questions and come to you. Yeah, how helpful was that? I mean, you you raised a point, interesting point. I hadn't really thought about that. You're basically going before the board, if you will, and and answering a lot of hows and whys uh, about your process, your thinking process and what you put into place and how you implemented the tools, what have you. Um, you know, what, what, what did you find interesting about that? Or what did you find out about yourself perhaps in your knowledge base through that process? I definitely think it stretched my, my knowledge base for it. Um, 
it, it was definitely nerve wracking having to to go in and explain your rationale to people, but um, it, it turned out well. And I feel like if you can explain something, like if you do your prep work and you're able to explain it to somebody else, it sort of proves that you have the, the true understanding on your side of it. Um, so it was definitely a lot of prep work to just anticipate all the different questions, figure it out on my side first, and then um, be able to answer it effectively. Yeah, we all like softballs, but what about curveballs? Uh, were there any curveballs that that perhaps that came up in that evaluation process that you're like, oh, you know, I hadn't thought of that, or or I didn't anticipate that. You know, sometimes it's those curveballs that really keep us on our toes. Yeah, I can't remember any specific questions. I do remember getting thrown some of those curveballs where you you give the answer, you think it's sufficient, and then there's the the build on follow on questions to that, mm -hmm. where you're like, okay, well, I didn't think of that, um, and so you're trying to to think through it on the spot. So I, I definitely got some of those. I don't remember the exact questions, but um, it definitely helps to be prepared. Yeah, it keeps you on your toes for sure. Yeah, now, you mentioned that the the value of of this perhaps within Lockheed Martin and, and, and being, per, I think, a great example uh, for others within your organization. What about just kind of in the data community at large or your colleagues at, at other enterprises? What would you say to them in terms of the value in pursuing this kind of honor, this kind of recognition and how it can be put into good use in their work on, their, their, on the day-to-day -day side of operations? Well, um, I think for people who are early on and trying to stand it up, the, the video curriculum definitely helped me out for sure. Um, learning about both the administrative side as well as how to use the tool as an end user. If you can put your mind yourself in the mindset of an end user, um, that's where you can really figure out where the most value is going to be coming from. So, and it was also good just getting that hands-on experience in a sandbox environment um, that you could build it out and not have to worry about it breaking anything for for your organization but um also figuring out how are you going to set up the meta model and get it working before people populate the tool because it's a lot harder to make updates when people are using it you know it's good to try to get that as well established up front as possible so it's definitely good to get that hands-on experience um with standing that up and i think it helps you sort of think through all the different intricacies and nuances for for standing up your own environment and, and getting the most value for your company. You know, I mean, let's talk about Lockheed Martin a little bit. Um, and uh, obviously, every, I mean, I think everybody's pretty well familiar, obviously, with your work. I mean, 110,000 employees, worldwide footprint, um, and, and obviously security and data security is of critical importance. Um, what, what does Calibra do for you in that respect, in terms of whatever peace of mind you might get in terms of data privacy and data security and, and reliability, all these things that really factor, I would assume, into Lockheed Martin's operations. Yeah, it does. And we're still thinking through all of the things, especially with uh, classified information, but um, it, the, it being metadata helps a lot. People are, are a lot less apprehensive knowing that it's just metadata in the tool. You're not actually keeping the data itself in the tool. So that way we can still have our security pieces on the underlying data. It's more for that discovery piece for us that we're able to, to see what shared reports are out there to be able to get lineage for different systems um, and help people's just business understanding of the things that are out there and, and the technical users as well, um, getting value from, from the lineage and system setups. So um, I think being able to lock down the view permissions, that helps too. You know, it puts people's minds at ease if you're able to say, okay, well, we can make sure only certain people are able to see this. You know, we, we have some of those built in as well. Yeah, I mean, that, that's something I, I know you've done a lot uh, at, at, uh, at Lockheed in terms of working with on the tech side and the non-tech side, right? And, and trying to explain policies, governance and, and determining accessibility and, and putting the right governance controls in place. Um, from a data perspective, again, sharing your insights, what you have learned in that regard um, at Lockheed Martin, what would you say to your fellow data colleagues, if you will, again, at other enterprises in terms of getting that kind of collaboration and feedback and input from just, not the, just the tech side, but also the non-tech side of your house? Yeah, it's definitely important to get that that business side as well because the technical users that while they work with it so much, you know, they might not 
understand that a business user is not going to know what all of these things mean um, and that they're going to need some sort of human readable version of it. So we, we have people from the different business areas, um, both business representatives and technical representatives who we work with on a, on a consistent basis to get that continual feedback. And that way we're getting what are the priorities from both sides um, and seeing sort of where the synergies are across the different business areas as well. That way, you know, we're not duplicating effort, but we're, we're trying to, to make it a comprehensive tool that, that everybody can use. Now, I know um, that your relationship at Lockheed Martin with Cleaver goes back some four years now. Um, so, uh, you know, you have a, a maturing relationship for sure. And, and the value there seems to be pretty well documented. What would you say to others uh, in your space again, uh, not only about just about Calibre, but about data, the data evolution of data in general, in terms of giving advice to somebody who's looking at this as a career, or maybe somebody who is just now getting into a more sophisticated look at their data footprint? Yeah, it, it's definitely a, a large field, right? There, there's always new things to learn. It's always evolving too. So I think that that first step for an individual is to be willing to, to learn those new things, learn those new systems, processes, ways of thinking, um, and take on tasks that sort of stretch you um, in, your, in your career. Things that you might not have said yes to before, but saying yes could give you more of a comprehensive view of the business or give you a better or data view as well. Um, and from the company, it's just trying to figure out what, where the, the most value lies, um, trying to, to get everybody sort of on the same page. When it's the wild west, it, it becomes a lot harder to extract value and move towards value. So trying to get everybody uh, standardized, but also give them the flexibility for their, their individual program or business needs, um, but try to keep people to where there's a common understanding of the data. Well, spoken by someone who's been there and is doing that. Uh, Michael, we appreciate the insights. And once again, congratulations on the honor. It is uh, well-deserved. Thank you, thank you. You bet, Michael Kuzma joining us from Lockheed Martin as the Calibra Ranger of the Year. We continue our discussion here, Data Citizens 21 on theCUBE.